We've made um, edible slime, uh, rainbow toasties, but what other kitchen creations has Juliet Sear got up her sleeve? Which is a messy business to put it up your sleeve. <laughs> Let's find out. Hi, Juliet. Hi, Juliet. Making? Hello, hi, uh, good to see you. Um, today I've got um, some really fun crafts for you and the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do salt dough handprints. And these are really popular at the moment. Everyone's searching for them online for the recipe and uh, they're really popular on social media. So it's a really great one to do. Um, and they kind of turn out um, like this. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to make the dough. So in my bowl, I've just got um, 300 grams of plain flour. Um, it is a bit more easy to get hold of now, thankfully. It's not all out of stock and to that I'm just going to add some um, salt so I've got 150 grams of salt just going in there and you just need to stir it together just kind of combine the powdery bits and then I'm just going to add 150 grams of tepid water and then you just need to bring it together with a spoon and this is going to create um, a really nice pliable doll, duck, not doll, <laughs> dough. Um, and it's great because you can use it for all sorts of things. We're going to do the handprints today, which are really popular, but you can also make models out of it or do um, cut out letters and shapes. So there's loads of things you can do with it. And once it's baked, you can paint it too. So basically, you just need to bring all this together. Um, if you find it's a little bit on the dry side, you can add a tiny bit more water. And again, if it's a bit sticky, you can add a bit more flour. It's not a precise recipe. It just needs to feel right. So what you're looking for is a nice pliable dough that's not sticky. So just keep working that in and then turn it out onto the surface and begin to knead it. So what you want to end up with is something like this. So you can see it's really pliable and you can stick your hands in it, but it's not really sticky. So once it's ready, just kind of make it into a ball. I'm just going to move that water out of the way because I'm very, very clumsy. And then just a little bit of flour and just roll it out with a rolling pin. So when you're doing these handprint ones, you want to have it about a centimetre thickness. And also, it's a really nice idea. Not only can you do handprints, but I did um, cute one of my dogs, Paul, so you can do pets. <laughs> and also, if you're having a baby in lockdown, you can do some little footprints in this. So you can do anything, really. So once you've rolled it out, you can just literally take your hand and just push it in. And you're left with the impression. Obviously, mine's... Mine's quite big. It look, it's nicer with toddlers' handprints. If you've got little ones, you can use a cookie cutter to cut round them. And you can even do things like use a straw and make a hole so that when you bake them, you can hang them up. So you just need to pop it onto a baking tray. Um, if you want to personalise them as well, you can use a, co a cocktail stick and add your initials before you bake it. So you just need to bake that in the oven on a very low temperature, on about 100 degrees, for up to three hours. The larger they are, the more, the longer the time they'll take. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And you want them to become really nice and dry. So this is completely dried out, and you should be left with a handprint like that. And now and so it's time you to do that, your Julia, accessorizing. Does that just last for mm -hmm. ever, essentially? Does that just last for a really long time? It doesn't go off or anything? It doesn't go off, no. It lasts for ages. Um, just last for years really um so that's the nice thing like you can hang them up I've, with my with this one here i've just done some little holes and you can sort of hang it up but they are really cute got, for the um put, baby show, show, show that one show that one again you're just missing the camera oh sorry that's all right there we go there that's it is yeah that's yeah, so yeah, yeah sweet Beautiful. isn't it that's lovely that's my yeah that's my dog's one it's cute <laughs> isn't it really cute but, um, love that so, um, and then you can just paint paint inside just to give a kind of, um, just some, some colour on the inside of the handprint. So, just got some, you need, need to use acrylic paint and then you can just kind of go along, go inside the, just so that can stand out. You get the idea anyway. You can see what they come out like. So, we did a lovely glittery one. So, you can use PVA glue and glitter or um, your, your acrylic paints to do all the kind of nice colours. But I'm going to move on to the next one. So the next thing I have, so if you can't, if you don't um, want to make dough or you can't get flour, you can do a very, very easy idea and it is toast paintings. So here's my bits and pieces. 
So all you need is a slice of bread, just the regular bread that you get in the supermarket. And I've just made some edible food colourings. And what I've done, I've just got some, some regular milk. If um, your child's lactose intolerant, you can use plant milk, that's fine. And just take a little bit of food colouring to create your edible paint. Just like that. And so you can see I've got I've been doing I've been really busy. I've got some Basquiat's, I've got some Picasso's, but you can do all sorts. You can do lovely rainbows and you just it's quite easy to paint on. The bread's a bit spongy and you just kind of take a paintbrush and go along like that. And literally, like you can do anything. Um, the kids all love this. It's really, really fun and really creative. And then once you've finished, you can toast it and eat it. So I've toasted my basket out there. So they can toast and butter it when they've finished their edible art creations. So you can see it's really kind of simple to do, but I love I've that. So many That's such a good here, idea. So the kids are going to love that. Do you that. like it? Yeah. So good. Yes. Yeah. I mean, right now I'm it's holding really on to fun. anything that's slightly new. <laughs> like any fresh ideas, I'm like a sponge. It's great. A sponge. That's a good really? idea. Oh, I'm glad hey, about that. a sponge. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully you'll you'll do that with your kids and they'll really enjoy themselves. Um, it's brilliant. I mean, I got carried away. As you can see, I've gone crazy. I've got one last little one to show you with, um, again, so this is just using milk and food colourings. Um, this is just regular milk. So you just need to pour it into a plate. And then I've got some food colouring here. So this is just showing, it's quite a scientific experiment and it's just fun to watch. So I'm just going to put a few drops of food colouring into my milk milky plate. And then one more. Now, this is really clever because I'm going to add some um, washing liquid to it and just watch what happens. So I've got some regular washing liquid and a cotton bud. And so just get the kids to do this. So they just literally need to just touch it onto the food colouring. <gasps> See what happens? It's like a kind of firework display. And what's happening with that is the um, you can use the other end and just get the kids to kind of like play around with it. And that's actually what's happening is that's displacing the proteins and the fats in the milk. So it's kind of just a really fun one to do with, just to watch really. It's just I really love pretty. that. Oh, great. That's so good. Well really done. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to eat my toast now. Yeah, yeah enjoy. Excellent. My enjoy. basket toast. <laughs> <laughs> bye. See you later. Thank you, Thank you very bye -bye. much. Bye. -bye.